I am a first-generation college student and definitely a first-generation uh, graduate student in my family. When I was in high school, I'm pretty sure I didn't know grad school existed. I didn't even speak English as a child. Like English is my second language. And my parents didn't go to school, so I had no idea that grad school was an option. Really one of the biggest, if not the biggest obstacle to come to Stanford was getting over the fear of applying because I was certain they were going to say no. When I was looking for schools to apply to at the graduate level, I kind of ran across a lot of really interesting research that was taking place here at Stanford and specifically devoted toward thinking about the problems that are going to be facing us in the 21st century and trying to come up with solutions to those problems now. If we want to be the great engineering school of the future, it's not going to be by looking the way that we looked in the past. Our ultimate goal in the School of Engineering is to have a student population that has demographics that are comparable to the population of the United States. There's a lot of opportunities here for funding um, at Stanford, and that was another thing that was a, a big draw for me. For the PhD, everybody is funded, so if you want a doctorate, you're gonna be funded one way or another. As a graduate student, I've been funded through fellowships since I got here. So really, the only thing I have to do is come in and do my research. Being a course assistant, you're assigned a cohort of kids that are in one of the freshman math or physics classes, and it's your responsibility to provide supplementary instruction to what they're already getting through the class program. So working as a teaching assistant is a great deal in that regard because you have all your living expenses taken care of and you don't really have to worry about that. There's tremendous literature and, and a lot of, I think, emerging understanding of the benefits of a diverse population, uh, particularly when we're looking at important engineering problems. If the groups of people working on these problems include people with different backgrounds and different perspectives, different cultural biases, that the mixture of all of that leads to a better product. To do the best work, to do the best science, you need the best people. To do the best anything, you need the best people. And the best people come from all backgrounds. I honestly believe that Stanford cares about diversity here, and coming here, you'll be part of that. There's a whole life outside of graduate school, and there's a really cool community outside of my department here at Stanford. Me and a few friends started a, a group called Brothers of Stanford, and it's a group of African American PhD students here at Stanford who have been mentoring with a nonprofit in Bayview, Hunters Point. One of the things that I was able to find here was being part of the Black Engineering Graduate Student Association. And so I've actually was one of the founding members of that organization and then served as president for the past two years. Having that, that support group, having those friends that you can vent to or that you can be able to rely on has just been incredible. If you haven't considered Stanford yet, um, I highly suggest you do. I think it's important to think big and, uh, and go big. And there's no point in sitting through the rest of your life wondering what could have been if you tried. The worst thing that would happen when you apply for anything is that you'll get a letter that says, no, you didn't get it this time. If you continue to try and you continue to persevere, you might end up uh, in a place that you never thought you would before. The strength of our program depends on the strength of our students, and we need applicants uh, of all kinds. And, and particularly, we would like to build a very diverse graduate population out of a very strong applicant pool. So if you're considering applying to Stanford, if you're interested in the best possible graduate experience, please take a look and send us your application. We won't achieve the goals that we hope to achieve if we can't incorporate the brilliant ideas that come from all aspects of our society. And that means having a diverse student body, it means having a diverse staff, it means having a diverse faculty. We have a long way to go, but we are absolutely committed to getting there 